Hello everybody, this is Bugsy, and I am pissed as a motherfucker, and not at Sonic stuff this time. Oh my god, SJWs, can you fucking leave video games a goddamn loan? Oh my god, Cuphead, here, Cuphead is racist, and now it's ableist, and like, they're, it's, it's like racist against people with this, how? They are goddamn cups, people. Yes, Cuphead did take freaking inspiration from those propaganda films back in the day. Those Japanese ones. But other than that, there is no racism in the game. You're in a fucking old-ass cartoon shooting shit. You motherfuckers are just so fucking... Do you guys even know what you talk about sometimes, or is it just you all shitting out diarrhea from the goddamn mouth because you want to feel so goddamn important? Fuck. No, I'm fucking tired of this shit. All of you fucking SJWs, all you do is blah, 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 whine, 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 moan, 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 bitch, 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 that's all you know how to do. God damn. Y'all motherfuckers don't do shit! Y'all don't better nobody! You don't help anybody in their lives. No, no, no. When a game comes out, or when something when something you don't like comes, you just had to whine, bitch, and moan about it. And it, it, it's, it's that you, you guys wonder why Gumball went on you, when, why Gumball did the episode it did. To show you motherfuckers how you actually act around these things. And y'all just putting flimsy arguments up, and, you know, I can easily disprove them, because, unlike you motherfuckers, I actually probably, I actually, I have an, I went to school, I actually keep on learning, even though when I'm doing videos, and I keep fucking learning and bettering myself, other than you bitches constantly putting out words to make you, make yourself sound fucking smart. When all you motherfuckers are, are sensitive little snowflakes that can't be touched by the outside world, or you'll fucking cry and moan and whine about it on your fucking blogs. I am so fucking sick of SJWs. God fucking damn it. Oh my fucking god. I don't know why this just brought me over the edge, but it did, and it's so... Oh, that's why I hate you idiots. And I, and I, don't, and I don't discriminate. I hate all of you. I hate all of you equally. Whether you be man or woman, I hate all of you motherfuckers equally. That's the truth. For the people who actually use their brains, I love you guys. Because you actually think. You actually... You actually think and don't try to go SJW style or act like these fucking gaming journalists who act like little pussies that can't even sit down and play a game for a few hours to get the hang of it. I swear, what in the fuck is your major malfunction, SJWs? Do you constantly just like to piss on everybody's fun? Do you constantly enjoy fucking with people? Do you constantly enjoy... Being the thorn in everybody's fucking side when they're trying to have fun. Is that is that your main mission? Your main purpose in life? Just to fuck with everybody you see and you just don't fucking care about anybody? Y'all motherfuckers really get on my fucking nerves with this shit. It's getting tiring. It's getting old. You motherfuckers never learn. And it's just so fucking... Ugh! Honey, do you have anything to add? Annie, do you have anything to add? Honey? Hello? Huh? You got anything to add? Um, are you talking about how the Sonic fan base are complaining about how Sonic and Sally work? Nah, that, that's going to be in the other part of this video. Okay, so on Amy... No, the Cuphead racism thing that they're saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, how SJWs are tripping out. My only comment is, oh, 
my god, why the fuck are you even putting that in a game like this? So what? It's made for vintage old cartoons. It's made to freaking advertise the people who want to fucking get into the old fashioned cartoons. Even I'm feeling a bit nostalgic. I want to get back. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go rage. It, but look, as someone who admires old vintage cartoons itself for the SJWs and politically correct to come after this because it's going to be in present day offensive, no matter how you try to contextualize it. I am so fucking sorry, but that is history in a nutshell, princesses and princesses. Deal with it. I want to learn more about shit like this. How it went down. Oh, the animation style. Oh, I was drinking this shit up. Okay. No innuendos, but uh, I really do honor how hard these people genuinely worked on the game, the art style, the animation, even the damn conversations. Holy fuck, I honor you people. You guys, A plus plus on... But SJWs, of course you're going to find something to bitch and whine about. That is because these people went into the complex history of the time period that you are going to, in present day, find something to fucking bitch about because back then, it wasn't how it is today. So fucking shove your damn pussies and penises mm. out of this fucking room right now. Thank you, hun. God, I love you. Anyways... And the way I see it is this. There was no character that had blackface on it, so how is it racist? If we didn't see any racial depictions, like what we could have saw what we could have saw in the time period, there was no black faces and no minstrel shows, so basically uh, gonna are you there was Are no, you really gonna go there, honey? Back in those days there were some racial I know, depictions. but what I'm saying is it's not in the game. Correct, but I'm more than certain they had to look it up in order to actually do some proper research, and that's exactly probably why these SJWs are getting all pissy and antsy. And they and they're probably pissed off because Cuphead actually drew inspiration from a propaganda film where a guy was a Cuphead, and they're well, and they're focusing on that shit. Die. Did you know that the Nazi symbol is actually a Buddhist symbol? You racist motherfuckers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, did you know that? God damn, I love. God damn, I love that woman. Hitler kind of stole it. Actually, no, Hitler did steal it. He used it as a peace symbol. That was his peace symbol. Uh, and you want to go spreading it around like it's a hate fucking thing. Oh boy, you know, I really feel bad for these imbeciles that seriously think anything with a swastika Well, is hun, well, hun, well, you, we shouldn't be going into that route because people, because Jewish people that have lived and seen the swastika, they'll remember it as that. Hun, I know, and yeah. that is exactly why it's terrible. But those who are from the Buddhist religion do still remember it as a good symbol yeah. and still use it to this day as such. Yeah. They themselves blame Hitler for using their own symbol for such a terrible act. But, you know, them being more peaceful than us, they are very forgiving. Mm. Which, honestly, I wish a lot of people were more forgiving like them. Honestly. Yeah. Good job to the Buddhas for being so, you know, I don't know if they, but seriously. And you're saying, you know? and, and you guys are like, ableism, 
There's no person with disabilities in this fucking game. What the fuck are you all talking about? Is referring to the fact that no, like, uh, you have to have real skill to beat this game. Oh, uh, you mo oh, you motherfuckers! Like I said in my journalist video, get fucking good, you bastards! God fucking damn! I had to work at <laughs> <in> my skills. <laughs> Like, seriously, this is an ableist game? It, it, it really doesn't? You really want to find every excuse in the bottle to fucking use against this? You guys... Is that what you're going to use against anything? No, because... Like, no, because I, can... I, I could pick a movie out of out of my hat. Uh, I'm watching Guardians of the uh, of the Who, and uh, let's see... I bet you anything, if I presented it to an audience of SJWs, they would say every single excuse in the book to claim that this movie was so fucking terrible and not a single one of them would be a proper critique of why the movie is necessarily bad. That is how pathetic your excuses are. And you, know, you could claim the movie I'm watching right now is Racist, sexist, homophobic, whatever. But you want to know what? Your excuses are nothing because you're not giving a genuine critique. And none of you well, how? And none of you idiots can form a decent argument to save your lives. Like seriously, every time you try, it can be easily debunked. Hey, you know. And then you try to call us all shitheads for making videos. Maybe if you assholes actually tried to, to show us your points without being dickheads, maybe, maybe we'd listen actually, to you. that's kind of against their code. They're not the type to actually try because to them, doing so would be, oh, I'm sorry, what was it again? I know I've heard it somewhere. I keep forgetting why they won't actually address when someone actually tries to debate them. Because um, they don't want to be proven wrong. I see Shai use this, this a lot as an excuse as to why they cannot or should not even address people who do try to call them out. Because they don't want to be proven wrong. Basically, that's what it is. Actually, that's a good way to put it, yes. They do not like being pointed out for what is and, wrong with their statement. Or try to debunk or prove how they are continuously right. And I love... They just think and they're and right, I, and that's it. And you know what? I freaking... You know, when I was watching Quentin Reviews and he was talking about VidCon, he just demonized, like, Sargon and the rest of the dudes, and I was like... Boy, do you even know what's going on? I mean, you've reviewed so many freaking Fairly Odd Parents, I bet your mind freaking went the other way. I mean, I like, you know, I like Quinn's reviews, but, like, shit, me and him can't talk politics. Me and him will talk, like, freaking cartoons and shit, but if we talked about politics, we, yeah, I'd be on the other side, and he'd be on the other side. Oh, Jesus, like... God damn, and I'm glad, I'm glad my my mother, my sister, and my brother and my dad know nothing about SJWs. Ugh. Glad they don't. Because they'd be a lot more, they'd be a lot more ragey than I am. I can guarantee oh, you. Honestly, I'd look at the porn of Cuphead, to be honest. And... Admire the artwork. I don't oh, because yeah. you know originally that's supposed to be you know. What? It's supposed to be the voice. I don't get it. They supp they're supposed to be like agile little children. It's kind of just it's gross to me. I know. That, oh wait! Oh, that's right. I, I keep forgetting. I know the I know the tunes, but it's just pedophile issues. Okay, cut that off unless they make them mature. Yeah, and they have Bendy and freaking Cuphead just bumming each other like, ugh, ugh. I'm like, what the fuck? That's another story for another day. I mean, if people like that shit, I ain't gonna stop them, but fucking ew. 
It's interesting. And the thing is, that the thing is I kind of voice Bendy for certain things, so it's kind of gross on so many different level, folks. Why? Why do you like it? Why do you like it? Horus is kind of cute. Why do you guys like to draw me banging a cup? It's just gross and not good at all. Jesus, you That's nuts, Chris. Kind of people. Not gonna lie. Either way. She's this, crazy, though. Either way. She's one of those crazy women you don't want to touch. You know, I wish Nick was here. He'd probably say something along the lines of something. You know, why is it? You know, I should probably call Nick later. We should, we should do something. It's been a while. Anywho. USGWs will get on my nerves. And we're getting on to the next topic. Because you motherfuckers are the reason why I still exist. On YouTube like this. Now, for the, for the Sally fans. For the, well, Amy fans that hate Sally. What is your fucking problem, people? Sally is... Not in anything anymore, and we and you all have Sally in every fucking. I mean, you have Amy in every fucking thing, okay? I mean, some of you even are mad at me that I'm not gonna have Amy love on Sonic in my show. You know why? Because I feel like Amy doesn't deserve. I feel like Amy shouldn't be with Sonic. I want to see an end. I want to work on an independent Amy that doesn't need Sonic. But does find love in the most, well, weird kind of place. You can't really bat, you know. I will admit, Amy is annoying. Heck, I don't even like her, despite the fact I could voice act her if I wanted to. But, you know, at least I'm not harsh enough to deny Amy a, you know, a chance. But... The thing is, even I would write her a bit better than how they write her. I mean, in Sonic, in Sonic X, she was so dependent on Sonic. She couldn't even do anything without him. And every time, she, like, even when oh. she was by herself at a freaking apartment that she had in Sonic X, she just kept thinking and wondering about Sonic. Nothing else mattered. I don't know about you, but that's creepy. It's kind of remind, it kind of reminds me of Family Matters with fucking Myra when she was basically... She's not independent is what you're trying to point out. No, no. She doesn't I, have I, any I know, other but, I know, but I wanted to. I know, but I wanted to explain the Family Matters thing about Myra. Like, Amy's kind of the person that's kind of like Myra from Family Matters where she actually had pictures of Steve on her bed, on her wall, on her everything, on her bed. It was... And cameras in her cameras in his little, you know, nerdy glasses. I was like, Jesus, lady. Leave yes. Steve. Leave okay, Steve. That was a, that's... I was like, leave Steve alone, lady. And I feel like Amy would do the exact same thing if she... Sonic X Amy would do the exact same thing. Oh, uh, that is the... That is the definition of obsession. Love obsession. Actually, yeah, I love obsession. God. But Amy, let's not let's not cut around the corners with Amy. She follows him everywhere, gets him things. She is totally dependent on Sonic to the point where she's hardly independent. I mean, she'll believe in Sonic whatever the cost. And yes, Sega has tried once or twice to give her some independent values. But to no avail, I mean, when you consider it. I mean, she, Even I, though I played Sonic Unleashed, I'm sorry. Even I'm like, God damn it, Amy. Just do something else. And for you, Sonic Amy fans who are actually reasonable, you know, we're not dissing, we're not dissing Sonic and Amy that hard. If you guys like Sonic and Amy, that's cool. Just don't. Just be respectful of us, because really, at the end of the day, Amy to us, I mean, Amy as she is in the games, I mean, I just feel like Amy, Amy just doesn't have anything to her. That's why I gravitated towards Amy and Fleetways, and, you know, in the Fleetways Sonic comics. 
because she didn't really she didn't really dig Sonic. She'd make jokes about her liking Sonic, but those that's what they were, jokes. The only Amy I think would physically work with Sonic and does metaphorically and physically is the Sonic Boom Amy. But that's because they actually work a lot more character into that version than anywhere else. And I love that. Because now I can finally compare her a lot more to why she should be with Sonic than just an obsessive, compulsive person who's following Sonic because, oh, she loves and loves and loves him to the point of obsessing over him. Yeah, I like This it. Amy doesn't, and I love that. I like how this is why I like Sonic Boom Amy. I, will, I hate how some of you guys compare it to be, you know, you compare Booming to an SJW. At least, Bo at least Booming has goals. Yeah, you know, she is, she donates money to charity. She constantly helps out with Sticks' issues. She has other people of interest to actually help out. And she draws, she paints, she's an artiste. Oh my god, this person has character! Oh my god, she has actual fucking character! And Sega, son, Sega Amy doesn't. The only character you have about this Amy that annoys the hell out of me is she's in love with Sonic! And, you know, and she goes shopping! You know! Like every girl should for Sonic. And you know, the only time I've ever really liked Sonic X, Amy, was in Sonic Eggs, man. She was on, and she liked freaking Shadow, and she tried to take a peek at Shadow's, uh, when Chuck, when, when freaking Chris's uncle was examining him. Oh, Amy wanted to take a long look into freaking, long look in Shadow's, you know, Direction. They didn't show anything, but she wanted to look. She wanted to take a look. A long look in the shadows. Yeah, and I, I can also relate to Son Sonic Boom Amy a lot more than I can for Sega Amy, by the way. Reason being is that when she loses something that's kind of vital to who she is as a person, I can kind of relate, you know? A woman is... More than just an appearance, you know, we love our hair. We love our identity. We love making a presence. We love, uh, we love art. I actually relate to Sonic Boom, Amy, a lot more than I do Sega, Amy. You know, I do like Amy and Sonic Heroes for the most part, because despite the fact that she wanted to freaking hump Sonic to death in that, she still decided... Okay, wait, wait, don't say that. <laughs> She's, she still decided to help Frog. She still help. She still decided to help Big and Big and Cream to find Froggy and Charcola. You know, she still decided. I to never help. finished that world. I finished the no. Even I never though, finished the new world. Even though at the very end, she basically chased after Sonic, and at the end of her story, which I was like. Amy, you actually progressed as a freaking hero, and now you just went back. Exactly my point. You can try to relate to this, Amy, but it's always going to be pointless because if you try to develop as that kind of a person, you're only going to fall back into bad habits. It's like trying to teach you how to be a good person to someone you love. Is the person going to love you back if all you're going to do is compulsively run after them time and again? No, 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 no. That's not a good way to get into a relationship, if ever. Mm -hmm. Yes, she thinks that's a great way, but has it ever gotten Sonic to literally go for her? Even in Sonic Unleashed, the only reason he actually goes out on a date with her is when she doesn't go tackling him down. That's how you get a date, Amy. You, know, you don't tackle the guy. You know. You act like a decent person. And, and that's why I like Sonic Booming. Because, 
you know, she waits for Sonic till he's ready. Oh, wow. Wait for the guy. I didn't think that was possible. You know, like me and Fuzzy. And you know, there's a good point to it. There's a good point to Amy. There really is. She does believe in her friends and helps her friends out and does all the good stuff. Gaming does do that. But it's muddied by all the time she wants to fucking bang Sonic in the back of a freaking stall. God, that was specific. And God, am I thinking of me and Six first time. Honey? Jesus. Honey, we keep up these innuendos. I'm sorry. We are going to have to go behind the stall. That's uh, that sounds interesting. Interesting indeed. But not 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 the point. Yes. Not the point. Let's focus on Sonic and Sally. Despite the fact I still haven't gotten far in the comics, and I'm still trying to get far in the comics. I will admit Sonic and Sally work a lot better, and I honestly think Sonic Bloom actually took a lot of inspiration from that Sally in order to make their Amy a lot more relatable to Sonic. I mean, after all, when you consider Sonic's personality, that's actually the first thing they did when making their Sally. And that's why their Sally works a lot more as a counterpart and therefore love relationship to Sonic to begin with. I can see why there's such a fan base devoted to Sally, hence why there's a fan base to Son Amy that wants to see that fan base pretty much die. Because unlike Son Amy, Son Ally makes a lot more sense because Archie pretty much took a look at Sonic's personality and saw what would work with, Son with Sonic. Mm -hmm. And that's why they made Sally. And he, Unlike Sega, who didn't have any intent to actually make a genuine love connection and instead just made a bunch of love, female characters and such. And you know, with Sally, there was a genuine attempt to make a relationship work, and that was the intent of her character the entire time. Mm -hmm. And you know what else? They're actually giving Sonic a little bit more emotion nowadays because, you know, forces... Sonic said, even though I'm afraid, I'm going to keep running. And I'm like, oh my god, we're going to see Sonic afraid and mad. And I'm like, Jesus, finally. This is actually what I've wanted to see from Sega from old for a while. I think I noted it before, but you didn't get to upload the video due to us being interrupted. Sonic from Sega, for me, when I first started out as a Son as a Sega fan with the Sonic the Hedgehog series, I never liked Sega Sonic. While people argued with me on this, I am sorry, but from the many cutscenes I saw, Sonic just wasn't relatable. He seemed to me a lot like a Gary Stu. Even in Sonic X, where I genuinely started seeing some ways of relating to this character, I just didn't see any reason to relate to this guy. Then came Sonic Archie, and I actually immediately hooked on. Even if I couldn't read the comics, I immediately liked him. Why? Because like me, he he could get bummed, he lost, he actually got mad and frustrated, and because of it, whenever he actually did win, it would feel a lot more genuine. And that's something I feel we have some we have and could feel a lot more related to in reality. We all get frustrated at some point in our lives, especially when we're trying to reach that all-important goal. And, of course, we're going to lose that fight every once in a while. But that means that whenever we finally win that battle, it's only going to feel that much sweeter. Like we earned that ever-amazing goal, that trophy, everything. So, 
even though I could finally see Sonic show emotions that he wouldn't naturally show in Sega, this was actually something far more worthwhile than with Sega. And that's why I find out of the two of them, you know, Archie was more related. Hey, but know. then again, there is another part that I want to also it put out. Mm -hmm. Why Sega Sonic is the way he is. Now, what was it, Bugsy, that you pointed out about one of the episodes of Sonic X where Sonic legitimately goes dark for one minute and we never get the full context of that reason. It only makes the audience, I think, question what happened, you know, why? Mm -hmm. I think what I'd like to know more because this is the first time we've ever seen Sonic get mad. And I'd like to know more personally because and, I tried my best no, to get it took to Eggman, Eggman of all people, to calm him down. That, that right there is something. See, if he gets so mad that he needs Eggman, his arch enemy, to calm him down, then... What more is there? And when I think about it, there is, I want to know. And when I think about it, it just kind of, it just kind of dawns on me. Maybe Eggman and Sonic, even though we never really get a canon origin for either of them, maybe they are friends at some point. <clears throat> you do get the Sonic Bible. Yep. <laughs> That's. That they did share an origin with. So. Yeah, but they never really, they never really explained it in the in the uh, continuity of the games or Sonic X the series. I, I understand that, but it is kind of what they go by at Sega. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I need to drink real bad. But the fact is, and I and he has got. Well, I myself would like to know more about the dark side of Sonic. Because as a hero, you're not supposed to let, let those emotions get the best of you. Well, unless you're so, me. Unless you're... Unless you know. you're me. <laughs> Maybe. But the thing is, why? Why is it that is the way Sonic is? I'd love to know more because this is actually compelling. You know, there hasn't been much said, and I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm kind of running out of breath, so that's why I took a drink. Mm -hmm. The thing is, what I want to point out is that with Archie Sonic, you have a lot more leg room, okay? You have a lot more leg room to say. With Sega Sonic, he works on his own pretty much most of the time. I can see why he doesn't feel the need, and in fact goes to the lengths he does to actually prevent himself from showing certain sides, you know? And but the question I have is, why? And you know, I, I have this one question. Because when so, when it, when Tails was so sad about Cosmo dying, T Sonic doesn't even hug him. He just lets she he lets Tails cry on him like, you know, like tell him this is how the world this is how the world is. Tails, it's never it's not always fair. It's not always nice, but it is what it is. Which kind of makes me think like, what kind of shit did? Sonic X Sonic go through back in the day. That is an excellent point to make, and that's actually what I wanted. That's what I need to hear, okay? That's because we don't get good context on certain things. That's something I want to give for certain characters and such, but when it comes right down to it, Sega Sonic. We only show certain sides. Mm -hmm. 
we all have dark sides to us. But it doesn't make Sonic very relatable if he's going to always be this optimistic Gary Stu. There's got to be more to his character more often seen as to why he's like this. You know? And I understand him going against Eggman and all, but, you know... Maybe give a little more incentive as to why, and I'll understand. But I'd like to see that incentive. I'd like to understand that incentive, because seeing these dark parts do make me curious. I'd like to understand my hero. That way I can relate him, right? relate to him more. With Archie Sonic, I can relate to his scenarios now that I've gotten to read just a few of the comics. I can not only relate to those issues, I can relate to those very scenarios. I understand what he's going through. Yes, he's a hothead and he's stubborn and all that stuff. But in the end, it makes me all the more relate to when he does make a genuine mistake. With Sega, they don't make they don't allow him to lose. They don't allow him to often die. They don't allow him to often go through anything except for all six. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, oh um, yeah, hon. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Infinite is straight up killing people. Just to say that again? He is straight up. Like, they showed the scene where he's shooting the beam, and he's straight up killing people. I don't know whether it'll applaud that. I'm um, like, oh fuck! They ain't playing around. They giving us, a, they're giving me exactly what I want. Nice dog. He's a nice dark piece of ass. Okay, a nice, nice dark piece of meat. <laughs> Actually, God likes a piece of meat. Sorry, right now, just giving up, guys. Nice Anywho, I mean, nice. anyways, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna enjoy beating Gara, the original character. Because, again, he has the voice of Gara. I know a lot of people don't know that because they don't watch Naruto, but seriously, that's Gara. I don't know if it's exactly like exactly his characteristics, but it kind, kind of is. Especially if the Phantom Ruby is truly controlling him, so it's kind of like the it's kind of like his tailed beast inside of him, but... Eh. Man, I want to watch Naruto right now. Honey... You are making me more interested in watching Sonic Forces. Actually playing Sonic Forces, if I could figure it out. You know, because honestly, this is the game I think will answer a lot of things that even I have asked about Sega Sonic. You know? You know? Yeah, I understand, hun. I know what you mean. But it's like, that's the thing I've always wanted for Sonic, period. And, you know, all these fucking fans lately are just like, no one wants a dark and edgy Sonic. I'm like... Do you not know this? Do you not know of Se, Se, Do you not know Se, yeah. Sonic Saturday M, Fans United for Saturday M? Do you not know the Saturday morning forums? Do you not know the, the Archie forums too? And the Bumble King forums? My, my dear, dear, sweet Sonic fans who, doesn't, who don't know shit. There's an entire sub sub fandom of different Sonics. Of people who like different Sonics. Meet them. Talk to them. You know. Give them a chili dog. And I'm talking about that straight I'm talking about them I'm talking about that straight up Coney Island shit. I'm not talk I'm not talking about regular chili dogs. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh god I want a Coney Island chili dog so bad. Anyways God, I don't want a chili dog. <laughs> anyways, anyways, you know, and I really like, I really do like, I really do like how Sonic Forces is going myself. I mean, you saw my last video, which was today. I lost my fucking shit. I saw more shit than I could ever possibly imagine, and Omega's dead. Omega is dead. I'm sorry. I'm still on that. I'm still on that. Omega is fucking Omega dead. Omega died? Yeah. 
Omega is dead. Like, he, you know, he tells, like, behind, like, in front of him, he's like, Sonic, help us! Sonic, help us! Fucking Omega is done. The hell? I don't know if he stays, I don't know if he stays dead, he's a robot, but he's fucking dead. <laughs> what did we start this video on? <laughs> we started this video on SJWs, and then we started talking about Sonic Amy stuff, and Sonic Alley stuff. Now we're just talking about Sonic Forces. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Seriously, hey. though. Seriously, guys. I am not I am not fucking kidding you. I shit you not. I looked at this freaking Japanese introduction trailer. I was like, oh shit, Omega is dead. I saw this last night. Last night while I was in my bed, I couldn't make any noise. I was like, what the fuck? Man? I was so silent, but I wanted to scream. I wanted to be like, yeah. But yeah, I want to, yeah, but Sonic Forces is shaping up to be a good thing. SJWs are fucking idiots. Certain Sonic, certain Sonic fans who just don't want to listen are just assholes too. And most of us are excited for Sonic Forces. And those who aren't are not going to get the game, or at least are honest about not getting the game. While the rest of the world makes their double standard piece of bullshit to not to justify themselves not getting the game. I'm Bugsy, and you've just. I'm and you're here, and you're also, and all of you are here at Bugsy's Corner. See you later. Ah, there we go. Bye, guys.